so today we're going to talk about the downswing position and it's a movement that you need to really get better at or, or do to improve your ball striking dramatically and we're going to put a lot of emphasis into the lead shoulder so what we're looking for is you would kind of take your backswing position as you start the downswing what we're really looking for is the lead shoulder if you look here see the way it kind of goes down and towards the target in this initiation to the downswing and this is a big big movement now we're going to talk in more detail how you're going to be doing this but I think this is a big thing that what I tend to see with more amateurs is as they start the downswing the shoulder tends to go more up as the hands come down this way hands then get too close to the body a little bit stuck and then that lends itself to that sort of flipping you kind of move that lead shoulder more down and out in front of you it gets the hands more in front of your body so you can keep yourself into an impact position like this so I get countless amounts of students whether it's online or, or coming through those doors that always want to improve their impact position and they're always sort of concerned about being quite flippy and they know the hands need to be more in front of the body but the big thing really that kind of gets the, the golfers get wrong is that you've got to keep your hands in front of your body throughout the whole swing and and the biggest tendency is golfers get sort of saturated and too close and a lot of it happens at the start of the downswing so to make this come to fruition what you want to be doing is in the backswing position you want to try and stay as sort of centralized as you can particularly if you're struggling with your ball striking so that kind of means that you'd be inducing more sort of thoracic extension as opposed to moving progressively over towards your trail side if you move too much this way it doesn't matter how much down and left you're going to go you're going to find this movement harder so your first objective is just to feel like you're rotating a little bit more around your spine and then therefore your lead shoulder somewhere over the golf ball and then as you initiate this downswing we're going to try and get this feeling of this lead shoulder moving down and left now the question would be how are you going to do that and the answer is going to be very much in in the rotational movement so what we want to be doing is we want to be concentrating as as we start this downswing we want to get the feeling of the pelvis pointing down towards the ground again in a rotational manner and the chest rotating down to the ground again in a very much rotational manner both of these movements are going to move you nicely over the golf ball therefore increasing your chances of really striking down on the back of the golf ball what we really want to be avoiding is this lead shoulder moving up like so now what's the easiest way for you to do this without having to think about it well it's probably my favorite drill that i do with a lot of students it's just to move the ball position so if you place the golf ball in your normal setup which might be quite central for most golfers what they tend to do is they tend to kind of hit the ground a little bit sort of early but depending on the conditions you might get away with it so if it's you know summerish okay and the ground conditions are dry you get away with it if it's a hard pan surface you're practicing practicing from you'll also get away from it but what you really want to be doing is we want to be shifting that low point more towards that lead side and we need to find a way to encourage you naturally to want to move more down and towards that left side triggering that rotation the easiest way to do this just shift your low point so when you start making some practice swings start positioning it but start positioning your focus point more opposite your lead ankle because if you still have a tendency to go this way you're never going to strike that point it's going to force you to go more this way and don't be afraid in the start of that downswing if you move this way and your head moves down towards the target because when we hit the ball that extension and that's the balance it's really a case of in the backswing feeling quite up down and then you can feel up again but i think just start making that practice swing more opposite your lead ankle and you're going to find ball striking just so much easier